All right. Sorry, I'm a bit behind here, but a uh, little bit of guidance for those who are looking for it moving into New Age. Um, November 15th is the patch. Sadly, we do not get our sixth job. Beast Tamers, you got to wait even longer. Maybe, maybe. As of right now, y'all got to wait longer than the 28th. Or maybe that's what they were hoping for when they delayed the sixth job. They were hoping maybe by then they would have all the Beast Tamer sixth job out and ready to uh, launch. Anyway, beside the point, <clears throat> what to do right now as a MapleStory reboot player, any, oh, in general, as a MapleStory player in uh, North America or GMS. Number one priority should be your level on your main exclusively. Um, get as much EXP as you can, get those grinding sessions in, do the WAPs, do whatever you need to do, level up as much as you can. <clears throat> Huge caveat right here. Right now, let's take, for example, actually, before I even get to the numbers, uh, the, the flat numbers, let's say right now, uh, let's say I'm at 99%. And let's say that 99% translates, at level 268, that 99% translates to 99 billion EXP, meaning I would need 100 billion total to level up right now at 268 pre-New Age. <clears throat> well, what happens to all that EXP once I only need maybe half of that, roughly, to level up post-New Age? Well, all that flat EXP, the base number you have, that 99 billion, will stay on your character. Now, how does that work? Well, half of that, the 50 billion you would need to level up post-New Age, will just grant you that free level. What happens to the rest? It also applies to your character. This basically means you can get an extra free level if you, if I were to hit, for example, 99%, 268, on New Age, I'll hit 269, again, with like 95 to 99% EXP. So, it's a bit of relief, it's a bit relieving to, to hear that there is a checkpoint right now, pre-New Age, that you can aim for. Well, what do you do after that? There's a lot you can do. Um, I'll go through the, the list and then I'll tell you what I would do personally. <clears throat> Familiars are definitely a, a huge priority. Um, when six, when six job drops, you have a lot more to focus on than familiars. Um, plus you'll also have more time post new age to farm familiars. I would say hold that till the end until after new age right now, abuse, abuse this EXP as much as you can get your legion to 8k i'm going to try to once i hit 99 percent, i'm gonna just sit there on my main 99 percent until new age i'm not even gonna log in except for like threads right but i'm gonna try and get hopefully 7900 if you know if i'm really pulling in the time 8000 legion um secondary mains are a good idea or like boss mules for example <clears throat> Anything that involves requ uh, acquiring EXP, I would recommend doing. Um, for those of you moving into Reboot, I guess a small little segment here for y'all. Um, the new Reboot, uh, Hyperion, I believe. What class to start with? I know Dookie has already made a really good guide. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the... They look like twins. I don't know if they're twins. Jake and Joe, I believe. Ereklo, 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 whatever. They've got, uh, I think, some pretty good content on that as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but w what I personally recommend, honestly, honestly, to take full advantage of the 260 uh, burning, take full advantage of, you know, if you're really pushing for server first or being the first guild to do whatever, whatever. If, if you're going solo, I would say... Genuinely start with a missile roaming class. Something like Night Lords with their marks. But Night Lords kind of suck without High Legion. So if you got the time, maining a Night Lord's great. You got to really put in a lot of time though to, to see full benefits. Night Walkers are incredible. Shadow Bite. Are you, are you shitting me? What is that? Look up Shadow Bite and uh, Night Walker farming. If you haven't, if you don't know what it is yet. Just look it up, I promise you'll you'll shit bricks. 
Um, heroes are insane. They don't really have much of a downfall. Their farming is boring, I'll be honest. Um, Demon Slayers are alright, I guess. But if uh, the safest option possible, all things considered, all things considered, Bishop. They, they don't really get to shine to their full potential unless you have two emblems. One for int percent when you're supporting and one for magic attack when you're farming or solo bossing or DPSing, whatever. You're going to need two <clears throat> um, offhands cubed and in a fresh server, every little bit of mess will help. So I don't know, you know, you're kind of splitting your messes a little bit there. <laughs> But you're always going to be needed in every single boss fight. Like, no one's going to turn you away. Even if you're low-leveled, your skills carry you. But in the end game, you really need to have sick gear. And, like, be super useful. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, any questions, like always, put them in the comments. Slap some subscribes in there, man. I'm trying to hit 500, maybe 1,000 soon. It might motivate me to push out more content. But yeah, any questions, put them in the comments. I respond to all of them unless you're trolling me. And uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck getting out there.